Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of the 7 Day to Die Alpha 21 Survival Guide. Now don't adjust your screens, this is the same world. You see, in the last episode when we completed tier 1 for Trader Joel, he gave us a quest to go and meet another trader. I think it's, is it another Joel? Yeah, it looks like another Joel. So we're about a kilometre away from our base, down here. And we cycled all the way up there, just straight. I picked up a load of mailboxes on my way out of the town and on my way into the town and I even found a crack about cafe which is filled with books um, so that'll be very useful later on. I plan on using that more when I have things like advanced engineering and grease monkey so that I can get more books to craft end game items because that seems more useful to me than going and wasting that opportunity on just getting a better spear, when the game seems pretty comfortable to just give you high level weapons and stuff pretty early on anyway. So I'll save that for better stuff later. I need to do one, two, three, four, five. I need to do two more. So we can do this and then do a buried supplies. That's gonna unlock me tier three, which are much better quests. And we can do some of those tomorrow. Where's my bicycle? On the other side. So yeah, let's head out to this infested clear and get it done as quickly as we can. Infestation. I'm interested in seeing what this POI is like on infestation. Or in the first room? Okay, not too bad. Okay, that first room had four zombies in it, nothing too bad, although the outside interference from Arlene wasn't helpful. Now you'll see I'm actually using a lot more light attacks than I normally would and that's just because of the investment of stamina and time of doing that when it's so easy to miss seems almost not worth it at times. I think if I was playing Insane Nightmare I'd be forced to power attack to get the knockdown but when they're slower I think I like the just doing the light jabs just to guarantee the hit you know or increase the chances of the hit. How many are going to be in here then? There's usually two. I'm guessing four this time. Let's let's use our brains a little bit. Okay, I need to take the arrow out and put it back in because it's still bugged. Huh? Oh, she's angry. <laughs> she's went full nightmare mode on me. I think the other one got lost. Oh no, they're still down there. <laughs> they didn't notice. Pretty fun infested clear though. Hey there. Ah, this one has an infested cache. Nice. Can actually show that off this time. This is an infested cache. You get a big extra loot pool. It's just ammo at this stage, but you can get some really good stuff from the higher level ones. We'll have to show that off later, of course, because I'm not going to go do a tier 5 infested quest just to demonstrate that. I love this medicine cabinet, it always gives you extra stuff. I don't know why, I don't know how, it just does every single time. I got a repair kit on me. I do, let me repair that. Oh, hey there. Oh, he's dead, nice. Loot bag. Pipe shotgun, don't care. Other stuff will take. Alright, let's return to Trader Joel. I think once we're done tier 2, I'll go to the other Trader Joel and see if I maybe like start with tier 3s for him already since they're the same trader. That'll be nice to check. If not, no worries, we're still going to do quests because we still need to just gather as much uh, forged steel, pipe bombs, crafting materials, books. All that kind of thing is just really useful, so doing quests just gives you a good source of all of those things. Oh my. Really? How many books is that in one mailbox? One, two, three, four, five, six of them. If you were on double loot, you'd have got 12 books in this mailbox. 
It's insanity. What do you have for me, Joel? I'm tempted by the forged steel, because it's going to be useful later on when we want to craft, like, a sniper rifle way earlier than we should ever have one. Um... Oh, do I, I don't want to do a buried supplies, but I should. Ah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. We got the steel shovel. We might as well test it out, right? Have I got any drinks or items that might help with this? Some stamina drinks at all? Blackstrap coffee would do it. It's very expensive, not worth it at all, but... Just for the sake of it, you know? Something to help us on this little operation. Because we're going to need the help. Alright, same as before, I'm very cautious about um, ferals maybe randomly spawning on this operation. So while it's very unlikely, I am going to gather up some wood and just make a little pillar I can stand on. It's just... It pays to be prepared. Sometimes, even though it's excessive, you never know when the game's just going to say, here's a feral and it's going to kick your head off in the middle of day four. Because if, if a feral spawned right here, or even two of them, there's no cover, there's nothing to get them stuck on. You need to build yourself a little pillar every now and then. Okay, so we got the steel shovel, we got our black strap coffee, which will last six minutes for 25% bonus stamina regen. Can't ask for more than that. It still takes three shots to hit that. Isn't that exactly what my stone shovel does? Four. It's not worth it. The stamina cost of the steel one for one less hit. Not worth, not worth. Ah, there it is. Right, let me get my stamina all back again. Can I definitely sprint out of here? Again, you never know when there's going to be a feral. Okay, nothing of crazy value there, but... Quest was completed in relatively short order. Let's get out of here. Ah, don't hit me. Ow. <laughs> it didn't do much damage, though, unfortunately. <laughs> the vehicle seemed to protect me a little bit. Even though it definitely shouldn't. Hey, Joel. Hello, stranger. <laughs> Another steel shovel. I'm so tempted. Um, this is some of the worst rewards I've ever seen. I'm going to take that and sell it to him, actually. Okay, we got the tier 2 complete with some terrible rewards, actually. I'm going to take the scrap armor bonus bundle and sell that to him as well, I think. And, you know, uh, I have a forge. I don't need forged iron. Uh, yeah, you know what? Melee mods bundle. Got any special jobs? Really Bob. Cool. What mods do we get? Travels, Not very good ones. <laughs> uh, I'll put the... Fortifying grip mod on that. I don't like the fire one. And I'll put the other one on this and I'll sell him the barbed wire because I'm not using a club. Right, those were some of the worst rewards yeah, I've ever seen. Now. Let's go and see the other Joel and see if he has any tier 3 jobs for us. If not, we will spend the rest of our day thriving in other ways. And we're back with the other Joel. You like? And he does have tier 3s. Oh, and he has fetches. We're going to cheese those if we can. Let's take that. Tier 3s are going to give you better rewards, generally. Oh, he has nerdy glasses. Hello. Do I have nerdy glasses? No. Okay. We want these. These are going to give you one intellect, 10% less crafting time, which is a lot more important in Alpha 21, and it's going to give you 10% more XP. Could have got a discount on that, but I don't really care. Now, this trader definitely should be Tier 3. The other one is a little bit confused because of what I did. I'm going to get these books as well. And it does seem like he's got slightly better stuff. Ooh, yeah, give me the wood as well. Because I am not going strength and I am terrified of running out of materials. Okay, nerdy glasses. Three vehicle adventures, solid. I think I'm going to drop off some stuff at my base real quick and then we're going to go do those tier threes. Now then, an important aspect of your thriving is going to be a gun. Now, if you get really lucky with your quest rewards, you will get a good gun, but if you don't, in Alpha 21, there's no shame in crafting a pipe weapon, because they're a lot more stingy with the guns this time around. So I'm going to make myself a pipe rifle. Rifles as a whole have been buffed, they're a bit more tolerable even on insane difficulty. But if you're using strength, go shotguns, the pipe shotgun's probably better. 
If you're using agility, go the pistol, and if you're using fortitude, use the machine gun. The machine gun is good for any build, though, because the machine gun is just a good weapon. So if you're going intellect, I would also recommend the pipe machine gun. But I think strength and agility should stick with their own weapons, and I'm just going to go with a pipe rifle, because I think the pipe machine gun is just a little bit too easy. So I'm going to go with a pipe rifle. Let's craft one of those. And the next quest I do, almost definitely is going to end up giving me a lever action rifle because that is the rule that is the rule of seven days to die now we got a bipod uh, do i have any other mods lying around doesn't look like it well this is going to increase our damage by a bit and increase the speed at which we zero our aim now i know on insane difficulty with a pipe rifle at level five and dead eye four you can actually one shot insane zombies without a sneak attack if you get a headshot it's kind of wild but i don't know if you can do it with thee so we're gonna find out today now i have two intellect now from the nerdy glasses and i'm gonna put a point into grease monkey to start getting more of those books so let's head out to the quest i want to get at least two done today so that i can get five done tomorrow and be done with tier three by the end of day five meaning as day six ticks over we'll be tier four meaning I know this is a lot of meanings, meanings, meanings. Meaning that on day seven, when the trader resets, we will have a four times multiplier on our trader stage, which will mean better gear when the trader resets. So tier four, at least I want to get to as soon as possible. Anyway, enough talk, let's get to the quest. Let's start the job. So it's a tier three, it's not on the ground floor. Do I want to fight my way through or just cheese it? Okay, people will complain if I cheese it, so I'm not going to cheese it. But you can just use frames to climb up the building, break into the room you need to be in, and then get it. I will only do that on the next job if I have barely any time, because I really want to get two done today. So let's get in here and test this shot first of all. Okay. Now maybe we got unlucky. Maybe we got unlucky. Let's test it on another one. That's not really a good test. They have less health. Let's test it on her. Yeah, it's not one-shotting them. Okay. To one-shot insane difficulty zombies with a level 5 pipe rifle, you need four dead eye. Now, I'm not going to rush into that, because I know I'm going to get another rifle soon anyway. <laughs> if you're playing at home, insane difficulty, level 5 pipe rifle, level 4 dead eye, headshots, no sneak attack, you will kill them. Now, will my sneak attacks kill them? That is the question. I missed. Alright, trusty spear time. <laughs> I will find out if this weapon can one-shot. And the hunting rifle probably definitely can already, but I don't have a hunting rifle, so... Oh, he's not dead. Oh, I forgot to bring food, I'm an idiot. Hopefully we'll find something in here then. Hey. We've learned pumpkin cheesecake. I'm really half-assing the stealth right now. I really can't be bothered with actually doing stealth. It shows. <laughs> Dig up these. It makes less noise than standing on them. Ah. There we go. See, we can one-shot them. With a sneak attack, anyway. That's something, at least. It certainly softens them up. That is a chihuahua in, like, a onesie. Interesting. Now, I think there's a dog in the corner, so I should be very careful. Very, very, very slow. I can see its head. It's not dead, but I bet it's very weak now. <laughs> so I'm gonna expect at least one feral in this room. Um, but this room kind of handles itself mostly. Let's just try and be as quiet as we can. They're hiding up there, you see, but there's a landmine down here. Well, it's just there to scare you, basically, all of this. But I want to get one sneak attack in, at least. Yep, let's run away now. We stand on landmines? Yep. Yep, they did. Anyone a feral? Anyone at all? Ooh. Doesn't seem like it. Skill point. I'm going to go for some advanced engineering now. Because I also want those books to be more common. And it looks like the end loot was actually in the final room anyway. Which is annoying, but hey, at least I didn't waste time trying to skip past it all. 
Now then, I want this end loot, but it will take me ages to open it and we are very, very short on time. So I'm going to save this and say tier 3 loot and I'll come back and get it in a bit. There's also a gun safe I want to crack open. The loot is only going to get better as your level goes up, so it's probably worth doing. And as long as I have the next job, I'm good. Because that means I can do it during the night. Which means when I turn it in in the morning, I will have two tier threes done, which is good enough. Because then we can definitely get five tier threes done tomorrow without doing anything weird. Assuming our luck's okay with the quests and we don't get like a restore power, which would suck. Although I don't think I would want any buried supplies either. I got just the thing for what's ailing you. I'll just take... Oh, the ergonomic mod's nice, but I'll take that. Scrapping for fun. Bunch of rifle magazines, nice one. Right, let's get out there and at least get this quest. I might cheese this one. Call it demonstrative cheesing. Because I'd really love to just get out here. Maybe even grab another tier 3 to do early in the morning and get back to Trader Joel ASAP. Mm-hmm. This is a big tier 3 POI. <laughs> I don't know how cheesable it's going to be, though. Okay, ground floor. That's a good start. Oh, hey. Apparently it's on the other side of this wall. I thought I got pumped by something there. Oh, is it in this little building here? How do we get in this building as quickly as possible? Where's the cheese? Come on, I know there's a cheese route. Oh, there isn't a cheese route. They've put it right at the end. But... Plan B, can we break through the wall? We can break through this. What is that? Oh, they hid it behind another wall, seriously. I can get it. There we go. <laughs> they thought they had me. They thought they pre-built proofed it. Right, let's get back to Trader Joel before he closes and take another job so that we can get a head start on that job tomorrow when the zombies stop being terrifying murder machines. All in all, breaking a single cobblestone block's worth of health wasn't that bad. Certainly faster than doing a full POI and finding like 15 zombies. Now we're cooking with gas. More crafting magazines. Let's take a close by clear, I have it no matter we'll what. do that in the morning. In the meantime, for the benefit of my self-editing, I'm going to spend the night doing absolutely nothing. The zombies are on nightmare speed at night, I'd really rather not do a tier 3 clear right now. Just going to spend the night fueling my forges, crafting new things. I'll let you know if there was anything interesting in the morning. Alright, so the night is almost over and nothing really happened, so I'm going to get on my bicycle and head down to the next quest. All right, let's get in here. Ooh, a college jacket. Nice. It gives you 10% more run speed. Definitely going to wear that. Also, for anybody who's wondering, they finally did fix it. Hooray. gonna blow. Some gun racks with some parts. Alright, let's press this button and activate the vital room. Rip the medical supplies, but who cares. Whoa, hey there. You're new. You weren't here in Alpha 20. Alright, job done. Oh, the medical supplies, <laughs> they survived. But it was actually the weapons bag that broke. Uh, we got time to open this up. Crater's not open yet, so there's no reason not to. This is a lot of lockpicks. There we go, what do we get? Some books. Slightly better bone knife. Absolutely nothing. Oh, filing cabinet I missed. Hey. Let's get over to the trader then. 
Hey Joel. A level 5 AK is probably the best thing here, but I don't really want to use one. That's the issue. Yeah, I like sticking with the rifles. If you were playing this, you should probably take the AK though, but I'm going to stick with like the theme of using perception and just take a crafting magazine. What do we have? A fetch and clear. Alright, looks like we might have to go and see the other Joel for some other tier 3 jobs later. Well, I'm at a lot of picks, that sucks. I'm not gonna waste my time bashing that open though, I got places to be. Onwards to the next quest. Oh, I should check this though. Yeah, forge your head, see? That's worth it. <laughs> Many thanks. You've proved to be very resourceful. Can you do me a f I can't thank you enough, friend. Two skill points, let's put that into perception and keep going. Here we are, the D. Smith residence. <sighs> Hell no. Is there another way? There's only so much jumping into pits that a person is willing to do just because the level design tells them to. I know some people consider it cheesing, but why would you ever do that? Like really. Just break down the front door and fight it normally. Have some common sense. It's a survival game. Level design doesn't make that much sense anyway. Why are there zombies in all these buildings? Why are they not out looking for food if they're so hungry, hmm? Now I know I'll have to go down there and clear it anyway, but I bet coming from the other side is a lot safer. Oh hey, you're just hiding behind me. Oh, that's unlucky. Yeah, don't have any log picks and not bashing it open with a bloody axe or a shovel, that's for sure. Nope, hey. Break it, come on. Okay, I'll help you out. <laughs> Some better armor? Nice. Alright, what's hiding in the tunnel then? Because it's like the only room left. Nothing? Oh, I missed someone. Of course I did. Still someone else? Where? Oh, they're up there. Ah, didn't see that. First aid kit, nice. We're at one, two, three, four, five. Two more, we will be done with this. Well, to your thieves anyway. With gas. Um, magazine bundle it is. Let's go see the other trader, Joel. He'll definitely have two that are a bit better than that. Alright, we're at the other traders. Let's see what he has. Well, how do you do, friend? Fetch and a fetch clear. I can work with that. Oh. Go nuts donuts. Let's nuts go nuts. Two nuts. Go nuts nuts donuts nuts. Hmm. Here we are. Just a fetch. Okay, I'm not gonna bother finishing this unless it's like in the final room. That's so mean. I hate how sometimes they like anticipate you walking into them round a corner. Like I know the seven days to die zombies are unusually smart but that's just silly. <laughs> like they hear me coming and they start their swing in time for me to walk into it. What sense does that make? Well we got through. Jump past them. Yeah I don't want to get caught in here while he pops so we're gonna have to think something through here. Oh well, we're running through all the zombies. I mean, this is better than dying. Whoa. 
Oh, it's just the elevator. Oh, bad room, bad room, bad room, bad room, bad room. <laughs> Oh, concussion, really? At least it's just a painkiller you take for that, though. And then you get free health restore, so. There's my bag. Oh, this would work. Uh, don't feel safe falling that far, though. <laughs> Could we maybe just... There we go. Yeah, I don't care about the loot. It's trash anyway. I just want to get my quest rewards. Need hmm, hunting rifle. I mean, if I'm getting it for free, I'll take it. I can probably craft a better one, but this is like not requiring like the 60 duct tape it takes, so yeah, gladly take that. Uh, one more quest. Fetch clear. And then. I've got just the I can. Hmm, I don't know if I've ever actually done this POI. I know it's been in the game for a very long time, but I feel like it never actually sent me here. I'm gonna test out this hunting rifle because mathematically, my hunting rifle should have been just on the verge of one-shotting a lot of these zombies, so... He's a very high health zombie though, I'm not gonna hold that against the gun. Much better reload, at least. Still, two shots, not that bad. For insane difficulty, anyway. And it will be largely distance based. Like, I'm not gonna one shot this guy. Oh, I am, because it was a sneak attack. <laughs> that works. Not bad. They've really buffed that headshot damage. Quite satisfying to use now. That's a lot of zombies. I mean, I've had worse experiences with the hunting rifle, that's for sure. The buff is nice. If you're wondering what they did and you don't check the patch notes, by the way, they buffed its headshot damage. They did it to all the rifles. So it just makes it that little bit better to use. Not bad. Seven perception, let's go. Even more headshot damage now. Oh, hello. I reckon my spear's probably better. Again. Very, very loose with the bleeding in Alpha 21. I don't hate it, but it's a it's something to adjust to for sure. I should not be doing this. Oh, they've done me dirty. Cooking pot. Oh, I shit, didn't load my rifle. I did me dirty. Oh, he survived. Oh, he's armoured. Yeah, he would. He's like 20% armour. That's fair. Very dark in here. I keep forgetting I have a helmet light. Sorry. Please don't be feral. Die, damn you. There we go. Can I clump them together? Oh, wrong way. Ow. <laughs> yeah, that was unfortunate. You know what, I'm going to overheal just in case I get clumped. First aid kits are rarely actually useful for restoring health, more preparing to restore health. Is this the loot room? Yeah, I think I missed the supplies ages ago. Where was it? Another side of this wall, apparently. When did I ever come past here? Is there a way to get to here without wall jumping? Uh, I guess, kind of. Mine. Let's head over to Trader Joel's. See what we get for our tier 3 complete. You did it. Great job. Mmm, a steel axe. I will take that. Dark Trap Bundle, Farm Bundle, Iron Armor Bundle. Oh, these are- this is like the worst tier 3 complete bonuses I've ever seen in my life. I guess I'll take the money, honestly. 
So he'll be tier four the next time he resets, which should... Okay, so I'm going to cycle back to the base. Uh, I doubt we'll have time for much else by the time I get back. Because it is a long cycle, let me tell you. Yeah, I hope this video was helpful in showing you just how powerful tier 3 quests are. Obviously, we got a really bad tier 3 complete. Generally, the rewards are going to be a lot better than that, including chemistry stations and stuff. And you can see at tier 3 jobs, you start getting things like guns as your reward, so you definitely want to go up and get that. And steal melee weapons as well. I didn't get any, but that's the luck of the draw. We'll be doing more tier 3s or 4s even in the coming days. So yeah, we're doing pretty well. We're a little bit of XP away from being very, very powerful. A couple more levels, we'll have 4 spears, 4 rifles, maybe even go for the full 4 demo expert. We'll get some sudden strike. Oh, you know what I need to do in future? more tier 2s and tier 1s because the wood and cobblestone benefits from that are actually going to be really good. That might be what we do in the next episode is just absolutely harvest the tier 1 jobs for cobblestone and wood and then maybe even do some tier 2s for forged steel. Tier 1 jobs are really good for pipe bombs, molotovs, base materials and like first aid bandages as well as crafting magazines. So tier 1s are actually really, really good to just grind out a few of every now and then when you need things. So we should definitely do that in the next episode. Tier 2s are good for forged steel. They can be done very quickly and they give you like 25 forged steel if it drops, which is most of the time. And they do progress you towards the next tier. It's just much less efficiently compared to like the actual tier you're supposed to do. I think during the night I'm going to reinforce the base a little. But I'll do a little tour at the start of the next episode rather than showing that off because it's going to be a lot of building and not the fun kind of building, kind of just the holding right click kind of building, you know? Oh, we have our dew collector, of course. Nice three bottles of that. Very helpful. So, thank you so much for watching the Seven Days to Die Alpha 21 Survival Guide episode two. I hope you learned various things that can help you out as a new player. And if you're an experienced player, I hope you just enjoyed it anyway. Thank you to my channel members and patrons for making this video possible. And thank you so much for watching the Seven Days to Die Alpha 21 Survival Guide. I'll see you in the next episode.